All right, in this problem, we're looking at a two-lane rural highway with a design speed of 60 miles per hour that passes through a forested area with a site obstruction located 20 feet from the center line of the inside lane. So did a little sketch here of that inside lane, and, and here's our obstruction located 20 feet from the center line of that inside lane. The lane width is 12 feet. An inadequate sight distance has been blamed for some accidents when drivers are negotiating this five degree curve. It's not drawn to scale. Um, so we're going to calculate this capital M to check if there's a problem, and if so, determine what we could change. So remember, capital M in this case is from our handouts, is the distance from the sight obstruction to the center of the inside lane. So we're being told that that value is 20 feet. So we want to see, given the geometry of this road layout, is that 20 feet acceptable or not? So in order to do that, we're actually going to solve for M and see if the value we get for M is close to 20 feet or not. So in order to do that, we have to figure out our other variables. Uh, one of those is this lowercase r, which is the radial distance from the center of the curve to the middle of the inside lane. In order to figure that out, we're going to have to find out the radius of the entire curve. But luckily, we're being told it is a five degree curve. So we do know that that's our degree of curvature. So we can solve for the radius of the curve, taking 18,000 and dividing it by pi times that five degrees. And that does give us 1146 feet. So if the radius of the whole curve is 1146 feet, uh, that little r, which is um, the radial distance from the center, uh, we can take the big R, subtract the lane width, and divide by 2. So in this case, it's 1146 feet minus that 12-foot lane width divided by 2. So we go halfway into that 6 feet, and so it's just 1140 feet for this lowercase r. All right, and then the other uh, variable we're going to need for this in order to solve this problem is the S. Capital S, remember capital S stands for the stopping site distance here. And that's from figure 8.1. We're going to assume a level terrain. And so we've got our capital S here. And we'll go back to figure 8.1. And we know our design speed here is 60 miles per hour. So when we find our 60 miles per hour here, we'll go across to find our stopping site distance. And that's going to be 570 feet for level terrain. And we're just going to assume that and use that here. So 570 feet for our S. And then let's plug it all in um, to solve for M. We're going to follow our formula. Uh, we're going to take that little r, 1140 feet and multiply that by the quantity of 1 minus the cosine of 28.65 times that stopping distance, 570 feet, uh, all divided by that little r uh, of 1140 feet. And when we plug that all in, you should get a capital M of 35.4 feet. And as you can see, that is greater than the 20-foot uh, distance that we were given. So there is a sight distance problem. And so the question now is, what could we do um, to take care of that to make a difference? So what could be changed? Um, so we have a couple options always in highway design. We have uh, removing. or relocating obstacles if possible. Uh, we also have the option sometimes to change the speed limit. So we can change that design speed, which is going to change our stopping site distance. And if you go through the math for that, um, you could try, say, a V of 40 miles per hour which would give you an S, a stopping site distance of 305 feet, which would then give you an M of 10.2 feet. 
Or you could even try uh, a V of 50. That's still going to work too, which would get you an S of 425 feet and then an M of 19.8 feet. So that's pretty nice. That gets us pretty close to the 20 feet, but still a little below it without having to reduce our speed so much. Um, and the way you find those out is just trying those out and plugging in new values.